purpose of this video is to show two common procedures for properly removing the wheel bearing without damaging the hub or the steering knuckle. The most efficient way to remove the hub is with a slide hammer. Unstake and remove the axle nut, install slide hammer, and remove hub. Once hub is removed, use a bearing race puller to remove the bearing race from the hub. Make sure puller jaws are seated properly in a race removal notch. For on-vehicle bearing removal, backing plate may be removed at this point for easier access. Separate outer tie rod from knuckle and remove brake line and speed sensor retainers. Remove strut bolts. Carefully separate knuckle from axle, taking precautions to not damage the splines and threads on the axle. Remove bearing snap ring. Press out bearing using commonly available on-car bearing removal installation tool. For off-vehicle bearing removal, place knuckle in press as shown. Press bearing part of the way out until it touches the press supports. Do not support the knuckle by caliper mounts as shown here. Doing so could result in damage to the knuckle, which is not covered under warranty. With bearing partially pressed out, remove knuckle from press and move to workbench. Use a bearing cap and hammer to tap bearing the rest of the way out. Not following proper procedure could result in damage to the hub and or knuckle as seen in the following slides and may not be covered under factory warranty. A hub in this condition cannot be reused and must be replaced. Bearing installation is reverse of removal. Follow any and all service instructions that apply to this procedure.